we're back. Still on core two. We are still on core two. Unit three is all about sequences. That book. That book. They've divided it up a little bit weird and I don't really like it. Yeah, they've divided it they, into higgledy piggledy, timey wimey, wibbly wobbly stuff. We're so, not going to do that. Yeah, what we've done is, is this video is chapter three of core two, the next video will be chapter four. So the parts that we actually missed that's in chapter three in the book will be in our chapter four. Yeah, because we're going to split it up into two types of sequences, which are arithmetic and, and geometric. geometric. So yeah, any bits we miss that is in this unit in the book will be in our next video. Yeah, in the next one. So we won't miss anything out of the next two chapters, it will just be a bit mixed. A bit mixed. Uh, yeah, so, so we're going to start with the arithmetic. Yeah, um, what a sequence really is. A sequence is a list of numbers. It is, or one. a progression of numbers. Oh. oh um, where there will be a difference in the two numbers. And in arithmetic, this will be a, a common a common distant difference, it will just be a, a, of a number. In the sequence Wayne's putting it now, the difference is two. It goes up in twos. And um, it, they, these these can be finite or infinite. Yeah, two types of different sequences. Finite, doesn't, it's not endless, it stops. And it infinite. has an initial and last point. Goes on forever. Um, in this one, we'll just assume it goes on forever by putting yeah. a dot dot dot. Um, Reasonable. Doesn't really matter. This this could no, end. It could end hundreds of times. It doesn't matter. Like two hundred and six. Two hundred and seven. It would be two hundred and six. It would be two hundred and seven. <laughs> it can be what it wants. It can be what it wants. So we have uh, a bit of subscript to learn. We do. And the, these letters are A, N, and D. We'll start with A. We've got a little one, a little two, and a little three. We have. Which is the first term, second term, and third term, respectively. Yeah. So if you see this, you should read it um, with a bit of practice, literally look at it, and you should see first term instead of a one. Yeah. And if a is on its own, it's assumed it's the first term. And that's how it is on a lot of the uh, equations you use. Yes. So, so a without the little one is just first term. A one. There's another letter, as Triff said, is D. It is D, and that's the common difference in arithmetic sequences. Yes. And in this one, go across, one to three, it's two. Should check it's the same. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Now D is in the arithmetic series, but not in the geometric series. We have some no. R in uh -huh. there, but we'll get onto that in the next video. We'll get onto that. So D is two, and, and then we uh, also have N, N, but we actually put it as A, little n. We do. And that's the nth term, which we hear about. You would hear about quite a lot in your GCSE. This is really a refresher. Yes. But now we're actually going to learn reasons. a formula, which is really useful, um, and you'll be using it in the exam and all the questions in that book over there. Yeah. Um, very important one, and it's for working out the nth term. Yeah. So. You can write that. Up. I'll write it out like this. A n equals a plus open bracket n minus 1, close bracket, times d. Yes. And this is usually when you want to find a set number of sequence. Like if you wanted to find the 51st number of this sequence, you use fact, that. In fact, true, I think we'll do that. I think we'll, we'll do the 51st yeah. term. Alright, let's do it. Okay. 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 So, um, let's write this out. Yep, term. We're trying to work out the 51st term. So, a n equals a, the first term. In this case, it's 1. Plus n minus 1. Now, n is the 51, it's the number we're trying to find. And then you've got a minus one from it. Yeah. And then times it by the common difference, which is two in this case. It is two. So, a n, in fact, I'm gonna get another colour. I'm gonna get rid of that. No. Oh. I'm gonna get out a bit of red. No, oh. a bit of red, I like a bit of colour. A n equals one plus 50. 50 times, times two, two, which is 100. So a n equals a hundred helps one is a hundred and one Dalmatians. Well, oh. and that is the fifty-first term. I've done it. And uh, like I said, this will come up in exams and stuff. Well, it's pretty useful. About two marks probably. Yeah. The geometric ones are often worth more because they're a little bit more tricky. They're a little bit more tricky. Sometimes it's like, is this ever used? I think this is not nearly always on its own actually. Yeah, it is. This is normally this is this doesn't entwine with the other stuff in core really. too much. No. It might, perhaps, but I doubt it. Yeah. Very much. So um, this is all arithmetic. This is nothing to do with geometric. That's no, the next we're video. We're not having that yet. Um, we're going to we're going to miss the next bit in the book because that's actually talking about geometric. Yeah, it's talking about limits. That's the next video. So, so we should go on to um, 
finite arithmetic sequences. Yeah, find the sum of the series. And stuff like that. Let's crack on. Some sub sequences. So, we're here, we're on to it. Um, yeah. I've got a question for you. Oh, okay, I'm ready. Find the sum of the All arithmetic right. series. Two oh. plus eight plus fourteen dot 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 plus two hundred and eighty-four. And that would be our last term of this finite sequence. So how do we go about doing this? We have a very nifty equation. We have a very nifty equation. A very okay. equation. I, think, I think red will be appropriate. I think red is always appropriate for nifty, nifty equations. Nifty. Yeah. So we have a half N A plus L. L. That's a very nifty equation. And that will, then that will give us the sum. So it's that plus that plus that plus all the ones in between plus the last. It is. There's a, there's a problem, mate. Is there? I don't think yeah, there is. I, I think there is. We. We haven't got an N. Oh yeah, we don't know how many terms are in this sequence. Oh no. There's a way we can find out. Oh okay. Remember what we just did, Triv? Oh I do. Yeah, we had A N, which was, an, was a thing. A, a plus N, N minus, minus one, one D. times D. So we know A and we know D. The first T terms D. D, 2 and D is 6, six which is 6. And we know this number as well. We know A N. That's 284. That's the last the term. Last term. Oh, fantastic. So now I just need to formulate an equation and wow. find N. Yes. Alright, let's do this. I think you should do this in blue. Oh, I'll do it in blue. Okay, you take the red. <laughs> right. <laughs> so 284 <laughs> equals A, in this case is 2, plus N, we don't know yet, minus 1 times 6. Alright. All right. So. 284. I'm just going to expand out the brackets in this. Oh, one. I see, okay. 2. 2 plus, plus 6 n. 6n minus 6. That's the same as just minus 4. 2 minus 6 is minus 4. Then we add. The other side. Yeah, so it becomes 288 equals 6n. I'm going to need a calculator. Oh. Uh, how much did this calculator cost you? Oh, it's a, it's a little bit, it's not much. It wasn't much. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's quite a cheap calculator, yes. really. Yes, it was like two quid. Yeah, times... Wait, no, it wasn't. That was my old calculator. How much was this one? It was a bit more. Was it more than two? More than, much more than two. It was more than six? Oh, no, loads more, loads more. More than twenty. More, more than twenty. Thirty? More. Forty? More. Was it fifty quid, away? It was fifty quid! Oh, right. Bloody hell. Okay, let's see if it's worth it. Can it do? Divide it by six. It's 48, it says. It's 48, and that means there's 48 terms in this cap here. It, it reckons. It reckons. Let's trust it. I think I can trust it. All right. Okay. Okay, now that, that's that sorted. Now we can crack on. We know what is. We can do this. Okay, no, let's do it. You do it in red. I will. So we've got a half N times A plus L, and that will give you the sum of all of this in an arithmetic sequence. So half times 48, um, and then in bracket, times 2 plus 284, L is the last term. I've got to think I'm going to need the calculator again. Oh. So. So. Half 48. 2 plus. I'm going to do all in one step. All in one step. Oh my goodness. So 284 is 286. Times by 24 is, is 6,864. And that is the sum of this series, which is new. Which is new, but it's not that hard. It's not that hard, it's quite simple stuff. Yeah, it's, you this, this wasn't hard really, was it? I think you do get all the equations in the exam as well. You do, there's you a page in the exam friendly. that has all of these and the geometric ones, which is the next video. Yeah, next video. But they'll all be there. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's quite nifty really that you can know that little and find out that much. It's like let's physics. Do, let's do some more about sums of arithmetic sequences. All right. More sums. Uh, this example is a bit trickier than before, but it's essentially the same thing. Yeah. In an examiner's like using strange notation. They do. Very strange notation. These are that's called sigma notation. The Greek symbol sigma looks like this. Ish. It means sum of, and it, this question will involve that. So if we take this sigma, 
whack a number 40 on top of it. Mm. And uh, R equals 1 at the bottom. Okay. And 3R minus 5 at the side. And now it's a maths question. Oh dear. And what does 40 mean then, Wayne? Well, that's the amount of terms there are in... This is an arithmetic sequence. It's just dressed up to look more jazzy. But it is just an arithmetic sequence with 40 terms. And this means sum of, like Tripp says, so we've got to find the sum of the first 40 terms with this formula. And Which so the R is the, the common ratio, right? No, 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 no. R is the common ratio for geometric truth. Oh. This is arithmetic still. It's just dressed up. Okay. So just like before, we'll have a value, 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 plus them all together. So just to avoid any confusion, let's do that. So it's in sort of the format as we did in the previous question. Okay. So it goes from r equals 1 to r equals 40. So let's do the first three terms, shall we? Right. So r is 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Minus 5 is minus 2. So that is the first minus term. 2. 3 times 2 is 6. six minus five, 5 is 1. I should be able to work out the next one by yourself. Well, it's just plussing 3 every time. So yeah, it's just going to be 4. I'll put it in blue. And then if we dot, 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 just like last time, and we'll put in the last term, which is 3 times 40, which is 120, minus 5 is 115. Oh, right. So now it's in the format of the other question. You should be able to see sort of where we're going with this. But that's, this is another form that yeah, might just give you can ask your question. All right, so let's use our, our lovely equation. Yes, we have. Half, Half N. <laughs> A plus L. L. This will give us, I think so. This time we actually know n. That's what I was thinking of the other equation, but we know n. n is 40. That's what the top number here means. So we've got a half of 40. We know a is minus 2. And we actually know l, 115. <laughs> That's a chair. <laughs> so what we're going to have <laughs> is we're going to have 20 times 115 minus 2 is 113, which is um, 10 times that is 1130, so times it by 2, two is 2260. Two two I was going to do the other way around. Yes. Well, well, that is the answer. Well, there you go. And all some questions should pretty much be like this. Yes. Sometimes they get used to all the steps we did for the last one, and then just do this. Yes, like they might put it in this format. Where you don't know in, like it, yeah. would, it would confuse you up here. And, and it will say like something out. like in the question, rather than putting it here, it will say this is an arithmetic series with 70 numbers. Yeah. And you've got to dictate from that that the 70 is n. Or it'll tell you what l is. Yeah. And, and you've got and to you've work, work out, out n. Like we did in the previous question. Yeah. This is another notation, another way of saying the exact same thing. I think that pretty much uh, sums up sums. Yep, sums up sums. Now let's go on to test yourself and sum up some more sums. All right. Then we can sum up. Everybody Now some questions. <laughs> that was so good. Okay. Test yourself, page 47, question two of this book. This book. Okay, do you want to read the question and I'll do the first part? I think this has a plan. Would you like some pens? I'll have some pens. All, All right. right, okay. Question two says the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is un, where un equals 10 plus 0.5n. Part A says find the value of u1 and u2. These are the first two values of the sequence. I think we can handle that. Yep. u1, n is 1, so we'll just plug that in. <coughs> 10 plus 0.5 times 1. Is 10 plus 0 0.5, which is 10.5. That's our first term. Part 2, 10 plus 0 0.5 times 2, which is 1, means it's 11. Yeah. Part 2 of this question yep, I'll do that. I'll do that. is uh, write down the common difference of the arithmetic sequence. Common difference is quite easy. It is quite easy. It's the difference between these two numbers, which is 0 0.5. Nailed it. But you should do the rest of the question. I'll give you the pens. Oh, okay. I'll give you the book. And we'll swap. All right. Let's go. So, part C of number part two C. says, find the value for n for which un equals 25. 
as okay. so we're going to be using the formula we used not long ago, near the beginning of the video. Here we go. UN equals. It does. A <laughs> plus N minus 1D. Wait, N minus 1D is in the brackets. Yes, it is. All right. Now we have UN equals 25. That's given to us in the question. We're trying to work out N, the number of terms. Okay, so we know A. We know A. We worked that out in the first part. It's 10.5 plus N, which we don't know as of yet. Minus 1. Lots of D, which we know is 0 0.5. That's what uh, part B was. Expand out the brackets. We've got 25 equals 10.5 plus 0.5 N minus a half. You can expand out those brackets there. I think you should times it all by two. I think that's a smooth move. We'll times everything by two. 25 by two is 50. 10.5 times two is 21. 0.5 times two is one, so just N and minus a half becomes minus one. Now 21 minus one is 20. Take that over the other side. 50 minus 20 is 30, and that is what N equals. And that's what we're trying to find out. It was, so that's that part done. Is there a part D? There's a part D. All right, let's, do it. let's give it a read. Oh, it's a sigma notation question. Oh my goodness. D equals sigma 30 on the top, n equals 1 on the bottom, um, of un, where un is 10.5 plus, what is it, oh no, 10 plus 0.5n, sorry. You can't do fives, you I can't, can't write a five. I can't, I've just got places. Look at that, let's sort places. Oh, right. okay. So we're going to use half n times a plus l. Do we know all of these values, Triv? I think we do. I think we do. We know what n is, we just put that out to be 30. We know what a is, that was in the first question, 10.5. And l, if you're clever, you'll realise this goes up to 30. So the last term will be when n equals 30. We just did that. We just did that when un was 25. So we that did. is what l equals. So we have half of n. Yep. Which is 15. 15 times a plus l, where a is 10.5 and l is 25. I'll get out my calculator and I'll do that for you. Do it one big step. All right. 10.5 plus 25. 35.5 times by 15 is 532.5. And that's the question. And we think that combines most of the stuff we've done in this video. Yeah. It's a pretty nice question. It's and quite, it's nice quite question. typical of what you might get in an exam. Yeah, yeah it's, it's perfect, really. It's pretty good. So now should we uh, go on to the summary? Now I've finished our summons and we can do some other stuff. Yes, I'm going to go summon some salmon. Summing salmon. Summoning some salmon, let's sum up some summaries of sums. Yes. Okay, so in that chapter we did uh, sequences, mostly arithmetic. Yep. We encountered two main equations, I think. Yes. Um, I haven't got a pen. Have you got a pen? I, I, grab me a pen. I have a pen. I'll write, I'll write them off on the board. That's a black pen. Oh, I like it. Very nice. Um, so we, we have, have UN. Yeah, UN equals A, a plus, plus N, N minus 1, one D. D. Um, and yeah, the other one which is half n. It's a sum, yeah, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Equals um, a half, half n a plus l, l, where l is same as that. So a is just the first term. Yeah, went over that. We were l denoting is, bits. Is the last last term d and is the difference. difference, which is always the same in each uh, arithmetic sequence. It's just a case of practice, really, in terms of getting to grips of when you use what formula, what you're yeah. trying to work out. There's a loads of exam questions on this because it's it can't really be separated. Yeah, this so, is just a question on its own. Like when we did the test, you have questions. We had like six to choose from. Yeah, uh, that were actually exam questions, and two was as well. Yeah, they were they were really they were really good in terms of us teaching you. So yeah. you should practice them yourself in your time. Yeah. Um, Pretty easy again. We said at the beginning of the video we've actually separated out from the book a bit, and the bits that we've missed yeah. in this video will be in the next one. Will be in the next video, because they're more to do with geometric, geometric sequences. So converging to a limit and stuff. I think that's pretty much it, the only thing you missed. Yeah, that? I think that might have been. But if there was anything else, it will come up in the next video. Yeah. All about geometric, though. So this is all arithmetic. Yep. And geometric gets a bit more exciting. Unfortunately, there's more formulas you need to get to know. But there good news, they're in the booklet. You yeah, nearly all of them are, which is very friendly. 
It's good. You, you'll end up remembering all of them. No, I remember these, I remember the others. Yeah, just for practice, it just comes in printed on your brain. Yeah, so you actually don't need them in the booklet, but you've, you've got them there anyway. Yeah. And I think that pretty much sums up in terms of the arithmetic side of sequences. Yeah, I know, as I'm summing the sums, which is some of the geometric stuff. Well, at least some of it. Oh. Next time. Oh, we ain't like a James Trebet.